Lies. Welcome back to Trauma Center. Lies. Welcome back to Trauma Team, I mean. Lies. I keep calling it Trauma Center because in my mind it's Trauma Center 3. But you also have to think, out of all five trauma games, four of them are called Trauma Center. Yeah. This is the only one that's called Team. Two of them are kind of the same and... Uh, yeah. Second Opinion and Under the Knife are essentially the same game. There's one thing I want to do. I want to take this custom lighter and show okay, it to a little guy. guy. I need something analyzed. Can you analyze this for me? Is it the lighter that was found at the murder scene? No, yes. no. it was the one stuck on my out. nose, little guy. Of course it was the one in the crime scene, Jesus. Uh, just a second. Hmm. There seem to be a lot of them. Yes, we got ten oh, fingers, wait. little guy, come on. They're all the same set of prints. There's twenty the fingers on this one. It, oh. Hmm. Can we what find kind of monstrosity? Oh, oh, wait. Multiple times she grabbed it. Oh, okay. Let's oh, okay. See. These are Carolyn Bowens. Gah. Bingo. So the one who left this no, at the Carolyn scene was... Bowen. Oh, bingo, the expression. Re okay. Remember, Carolyn Bowen was the wife of Sean Bowen, who was last seen with Abigail. Yeah, might be having some kind of extramarital affair or whatever, but yeah, definitely her. Sean's wife, Carolyn, left the lighter at the murder scene. It's a frame job, baby! So, well, there you go. It's obviously the wife now, right? There you go. Never that obvious. Nope. And never will be that obvious. Well, you know, no, it probably isn't, so we should probably listen to the uh, testimony that they have to give. Please, please, please. All right, Sean Bowen is first. Oh, look at him. He's a suave-looking guy. Abigail's boss, he was asked about his relationship with her and uh, why, why, where, where he was at. Uh, right. What were you doing? Good heavens. What's going on? You're being I'm detained. to get interrogated by people like you, Abby. Yes, she, she did work for us. She was a very innocent and, and beautiful girl. You know the type, right? Look, yeah, I'm sure you figured no, it out for no. yourself, right? What we have is a relationship between two consenting adults. Uh. She's the one who asked me to meet her at the restaurant, but she got a phone call and left before the meal came. Uh oh. She went. How should I know? Because you were porking her! She said something came up, but but who knows? Huh? That's my lighter. Where did you... To the scene of the murder? A, a warehouse at the harbor? Uh oh. No, yeah, oh boy. There. I don't even carry that lighter with me. Oh. I keep it at home, so what would it be doing there? I okay, this panic, this I think, is genuine. I hear it too, yeah. This is genuine. This isn't like, you know, what? what is a custom made, expensive piece. That is also legitimate. Yes, yeah. This is genuine shock. I think he's in the clear. I mean, if I show him a, a, a picture of the dead body and he starts throwing up. Th that that means he probably didn't do it. So. I think he also oh, figured it out too. Hmm. Oh, that's when his lawyer arrived. Oh, damn it! Oh, he lawyered up. And Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's all right, though. I learned something important. That yeah, I that's expecting. big. That's big. Now the wife looks extremely suspicious. But what did we learn from that? <sighs> That he attention. wasn't there. If that man is telling the truth, then Abigail's cell phone has an important clue. That Who is... she called. Ooh, records of calls received. Bingo! Yes. Yes. Whoever Upon called her call most call likely killed she her. She abruptly left the restaurant and was killed. It's quite possible that call came from the murderer. Mm -hmm. I see. Even if the caller isn't the killer, we can identify. Look at it deduct in like like some sort of crazy detective cyber sleuths. Gotcha. I'll make sure With beautiful blue eyes, look at those. And gorgeous white hair. Huh, wait. We also need evidence to back his testimony. And an amazing well. dead uh, stare at true. I gotta say I like her performance too. It's 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 very clinical. Yeah, to you to use a turn of phrase. Hmm. It shouldn't be difficult to get a witness to verify his testimony. She does sound like somebody who sees a lot of dead people. So, yet yeah, someone who's got that kind of coldness, but calculating and tactical, yet still human at times. All right, so the uh, person we can ask in order to verify Sean's witness testimony is... is... The Chef. Yeah. The Chef. Yes. Can you go talk to that chef one more time? Don't go back for seconds? Uh -huh. Were they were they acting lovey-dovey, or please don't get caught? Or hatey-waity. There's also that lighter to consider. <laughs> what? It's most likely that it was removed from Bowen's house by... Shut up, little guy. <laughs> so who took the lighter? Ah, uh, that would be the wife. Bingo. She was the only one that had access to it, based on his testimony. Yes. 
According to his statement, the yep. lighter was supposed to so be. There's Smash Bros. There's a wife, right? Mm. The only person besides him who would. Highly have been suspicious is a phrase I'd use. Carolyn, if we inspect the lighter itself. Yeah, let's see it. From it. I see. You'll need the recordings from Carolyn's question yep. as well. I'll send it over right now, so please use the recorder to listen to it. Yes, make sure I get those. I'm counting on you, little guy. All right. Let's listen to the wife's uh, please, testimony now. Please, I gotta hear this. Oh, dang. That little skank! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, well, you're not wrong. Which one? Her or, or Abigail? Hey, what's this all about? Why are you keeping me here? Can I at least put a shirt on? What possibly have to do with you? Huh? I was home all day on that day. So what? You found his lighter at the murder scene? Hmm. Uh, is that so? Uh... uh Bullshit! I don't give a rat's ass about that Woo! cheating bastard. <sighs> Can I just go home now? <sighs> I don't want to deal with a murder investigation. Uh oh. She thinks you got something. Well, I mean, we, we knew it was murder. Is she unstable? Did, but did she know? That wasn't a gotcha. Damn it. That's just normal, Dr. Kimishima. You're a little too calm. Well, I have my moments too. Sometimes. Yeah, you know, yearly. Anyway, Carolyn's I'm overdue for it. She was home the entire time. Home the entire time, you say? There? No, there aren't any witnesses. She says she was alone the entire time. Mm. Mm. She'd be lying if she, there was someone to confirm that, that she was alone, because then she wouldn't be alone. No, we told her that her husband is a suspect in a murder investigation. There you okay, go. They did tell her. She shouldn't know that Sean was involved with Abigail. We're trying to keep the details under wraps. Mm -hmm. Unless she found out. If that's the case, then she knows too much. Huh. Uh, she called him out. Listen to her testimony one more time. Yep. Yeah, that cheating bastard. That's good work. That's precisely the peculiar statement she wants us to talk about. I don't give a rat's ass about that cheating bastard. Bingo! Why did she call him? This isn't his first bastard? offense. Maybe he's cheated on her before. Ouch. He looks like a player. That could be Not that I would know what a flare looks like, uh, or I mean, what uh, he specifically looks like, or, 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 last weekend, or what his junk looks like, or what his buttocks are shaped like, or, uh. Well, for Little example. guy, chill the F out. Do you need to come out? No. Yes. Saw with Abigail. Easy. The woman who knew too much. Da 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 da. The woman who knew too much. Da 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 da. She walked into my office one day, and she said, "Hello there, Rodney Johnson." I don't tell anybody my first name. Da 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 da. I just love that you went with Rod Johnson. Two innuendos at the same time. I knew she wanted to bone me. Da -da, da -da, but I didn't know how to tell her. I was wearing nothing but an apron. Couldn't figure it out. And I thought that I misplaced my underwear, but she's like, Well, have you checked the, the top sock drawer? And when I did, well, what do you think I found? Da -da, da -da, da -da. The murder <laughs> weapon! <laughs> Alright, we got the woman who knew too much. Mix that with the... Uh, oh, can I grab that? Alright, woman who knew too much. With the only fingerprints. Because she left the left fingerprints. The Duh! The that doesn't look good for this woman. Oh, no, yeah. Her husband together with the victim. Does this mean that Carolyn is behind She followed him every day. No, uh, we can't say for of sure. Of course we can't. Yeah, we can't say for sure. Even if she, she had access to it, Abigail. she could touch it herself, she no but that doesn't mean she murder. planted it. It's too early but for that. Way too early for that. Regarding Abigail's murder. I need a little more information from her. That's the little guy's job. All right, cool. Little guy, go get more information. Why do you keep calling me little guy? My name's Rod Johnson. Oh. What's this? It wasn't Sean what do you think? I, I, I read her a nine. What do you think, little guy? Oh, um, seems to be about an 8.5 at that most. her our most probable suspect now. Really? I wonder what HQ is going to think when I hear My name's this. Richard Dixon. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm Dick not Dixon. in your office politics. Dix Dixon. Dix. So, what do you think? Honestly. Huh. I'd say a nine. I find it most likely that oh. she's not the killer. Nah, I think Still, she's just a jilted she lover. Something. 
a very she mad wife. Yeah. Suspect. Perhaps that will lose she wants to kill him, it. but it's not going to happen. I'll use this info when I speak to her then. All right. You're going to talk to her yourself? That's odd. It takes a liar to catch a liar. I'm good at this kind of thing. Right, because he did bad stuff in secret, in. or a uh, second opinion. Nice lie, little guy. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Abigail's cell phone has been repaired. <gasps> yes! Yay! Right. Give me the deets. Were the records of received calls intact? She did receive a call during the time oh, we believe she was at the restaurant. Oh, come on! However. Uh, however. Uh, we've traced the call to a nearby payphone. Shit! Ooh! Huh, I see. I wonder if this information will lead us anywhere. We're going to ask around the area if there were any witnesses near the phone, but we don't expect much. Still, there's no doubt that that was the last call made to her cell phone. I see. Okay. So there's a good chance that call came from the murderer after all. Abigail was Damn payphones only being good for murder cases. Yeah, I know. Killed. Man. Continue 25 cents. Bam, free alibi. Shit. Oh, we spoke to the chef again, too. Oh. Check out the recorder when you have time. Uh, okay. I'll listen to it later. So yeah, I had to make a quick call at a payphone real quick. Oh, no, crosshairs keeps changing between people. Still not enough. Still got more to do in here though. Uh, like we have to take Abigail's time of death with the payphone call. Yeah, pieces of information that would make it Abigail's extremely close. That night until her death. When was she last seen before she died? How many days ago was the murder victim's last seen? Three yes. days? Yes. That's right. She was seen at a restaurant that she was a frequent customer at. The one with her at the time was... Who was it? It was Just, Naomi Kimishima. Uh, yes, it was me! Sean Bowen. Correct. She was witnessed there with her boss. Afterwards, she left the restaurant alone. The reason she left was... She died. They had a fight. She had a phone call. She saw his wife and ran away. <laughs> Carol, oh, I wanted to fight her. Yes, a phone call caused her to leave the restaurant immediately. I could just but imagine that player of a husband just going, all the women fight over me. This phone call came from a payphone, yeah. Payphone. Indeed, the payphone near the murder scene. It's most likely that the killer called her from the public phone. Then waited for the victim to arrive. You think we're gonna have to go to the payphone to scope it out? I, I, I don't think so. What, what can we find there? Probably not much. A tuft of hair. Another victim. Other people use the payphone. I know. Allegedly, I, know. I mean, I don't know. Allegedly, yeah. Who's got quarters in these days just rummaging around in their pocket? All right, now the uh, broken wine glass. Take a look at that, will you? All we know is it came from wine, a wine glass. What else can you tell us? Thank you. All right, cool. Now, Please. we got some new testimony to comb yeah. through. Yeah. Right. So, Victor Padrini, the chef. What you got, man? I thought I clicked on it there. All right, sure. Uh, let me think. Hmm, I remember that she was talking on her phone. I clearly remember that she left the restaurant in a hurry soon after that. The man who was with her left in a bad mood afterwards. No, Blue I don't balls, think you know. He went after Miss Abby. No, he left the restaurant an hour after Miss Abby did. An hour. I know that because I served a carafe of wine to the table. The gentleman drank it all himself before he left. I remember being disappointed because they ordered a very fine wine. Ugh. So he just sat there and drank a whole bottle of wine. No way he could have done the murder. Yeah, stuck him with the bill. No chugging wine. Carolyn Bowen, Sean's wife. Uh oh. Once they confronted her about the lighter, she started talking. <gasps> I see. I'll check it out. Spill the beans, Carol. All right. What do you got for us? Oh, this should be good. What'd you see? So what if my fingerprints were on the lighter? That's got nothing to do with... Huh? Why am I a suspect? No, I'm telling you it wasn't like that. That skank! <laughs> That's not the sound of someone who murders, though.
Yeah, I don't think she's a killer. She's just a scorned lover. That's it. She's the wife. She was about to get, you know, Abigail was about to get a fistful of table at that phone call. I, I think she's going to get the life beaten out of her, but I don't think she was going to get the life beaten out of her. Oh. I knew she'd been killed, but I I had nothing to do with it. I mean, it serves her right. Did she think she could just steal any man she wanted? That's She actually witnessed the murder. Oh. When I dropped the lighter. Of course I didn't report it. I would have been the very first suspect. Ah. Uh... This is one weird testimony. Our murder investigation suddenly turned into a monster. Yeah. Hunt. We've had a sketch artist create a picture from her account, but... So what this monster look like? <laughs> Chupacabra? Oh, Hollow Knight! Yeah, them? perfect! Huh. Don't be ridiculous. It's someone wearing a mask and some kind of costume. That's that cold calculating realism I need, Dr. Kimishima. Well done. I thought it's Obviously, it's somebody wearing a mask. It's no real monster. Don't be stupid. Who can say? There's no way to know anything yet. This is a down-to-earth, real-life medical drama. It's super cancer wearing a mask. It's isn't not it? super cancer wearing. I am a being created from the super cancer. <laughs> a homunculus kill me. <laughs> Get the super vaccine. <laughs> no! <laughs> the world is saved. Yeah, man, Hello, I am. I am safe cancer. <laughs> All right, back into the PC. Yeah, let's see what we got here. We got mysterious ashes. Uh, yes, mysterious Except ashes. with. Uh, Crazy monster. The murderer was wearing a mask. Now I know what that she get mauled by a bear or something like that. It must have been from the mask that the murderer was wearing while coming. Yup, it's not a bear. It's a it's a dude. It's a murderer. A monster. Guy is in de de oh. definitely human. Just a mass suspect. Why would the murderer throw the mask into the fireplace? Whatever the reason, hmm. it helps to sort everything out. Yeah. Who would just throw it in the fireplace? All right, let's uh, sort through some things in our mind. Okay, I need to sort out the information I have on him. Um, head to the mind palace. The costume worn by whoever killed the two women. All right. How did it end up in the fireplace? Correct. In the this is what I'm wondering. Room? The most logical reason that can be considered at the moment is. It was to destroy the evidence. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah. Here you go. Yes. Putting it in the fireplace could be an attempt to destroy it. And if that is the case, uh, something strikes me as odd about how Joseph, Alma's husband, was acting. That is... He knew. He confessed. He confessed, yeah. Didn't even know what he was confessing to, he just confessed. Yes. He confessed to Alma's murder from the very beginning. If he was willing to confess, what reason would he have to hide any evidence? Yeah. Hmm. Let's assume for a moment that someone else is the real killer. Can we follow this hypothetical person's steps? This person would have killed both Alma and Abigail. The first person to be killed would have been... Any idea? They both aren't dead, obviously. Of the... <laughs> of the two victims, Alma and Abigail, which one was killed first? Three days ago, yeah, it was Abigail. Right, Alma's corpse was found first, but Abigail had been killed before then. Yes. Right. In other words, the killer wore a costume to kill Abigail, then killed Alma the next day, after which the costume was discarded into the fireplace. Mm -hmm. However, we haven't found the murder weapon yet. There were no traces of it in the fireplace. The killer would also have some connection to the two mm -hmm. victims as well. We can assume that Abigail personally knew her murderer. The reason for this is... Because she responded to the phone yeah, call. Yeah, responded to the phone call. Right. Oh, this is getting she good. She received a phone call from a payphone to call her out. The killer knew Abigail's phone number, and Abigail rushed out right after receiving the call. It's unreasonable to think that she would do that for someone she didn't know. Well, I mean, she was a bit of a floozy, it There's sounds like, so it could have been some other man. the killer as well. This hmm. is because... He's lying to protect them, a stubborn bastard. <laughs> I think I was starting to yes. piece it together, and if this is getting very so, sad. Oh, Joseph you don't even know how sad no it's going to get. to defend whoever killed his wife. So, is the killer someone that the entire Parker family would be acquainted with? Hmm. Oh. Hello? Little guy? 
Got something for you? What do you got? Uh, Dr. Kimishima, sorry to keep you waiting. What do you got? We've taken a look at the clock we recovered from the Parker house. And... Oh, hello. What? Naomi, can you hear me? Hello? Lisa? Oh, it's the cat girl. Uh, what Hi. are you doing there? <sighs> Little guy? Um, this girl said that she really had to talk to you. Uh, all right. Okay. Alyssa, can you hear me? Time for the third corpse to show up. I need to do some work with the man you're with. Be a good girl and be quiet for a little bit. I, I like this moment. I, I think the actress did great here. That yeah. kind of stern, yet motherly, yet warm, yet also still annoyed. St still, yeah. still firm, still firm. Yes, I heard that much. Get to it. <laughs> Why aren't you that nice to me? <laughs> You're a big boy. Yeah, because you can handle it. So obviously the stars on the on the clock match the stars on the head. Makes sense. The yeah. And struck the victim's head. Yeah. This may have happened while she was struggling with her assailant. I see. Is it possible for that wound to have been the cause of death? Uh, no, that's impossible. Not hard enough. The impact wouldn't have been enough to kill someone. Yeah, it was just enough to leave an indent. Clock, but it doesn't seem that damaged either. Feels I more see, like a bonk then. than a crunch, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Little guy, what's that sound? Uh, uh, uh. Sorry. Looks like this clock is the kind that plays a little tune. Hey, Naomi. Alyssa, you said that yes. you keep quiet. I'm sorry, but that clock is broken. It's broken. Huh? Little guy, has anybody looked inside the clock? Ooh! Uh, one second. What oh the... my god. Dr. Kimishima, there's something inside. The Mita weapon. Ta da! Yeah! Oh my god! Thank you. Thank you, Alyssa. you, Alyssa! Good girl, you get cookies and a pony! That's a deadly shank. Jesus. I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the murder weapon right there. I Absolutely. think we can say that, yeah. Hey, can you identify this see, yeah, to see yeah, what blood is on this? Look at this thing! <laughs> How did you miss this? Look at it! Didn't even think to look inside the clock. Yep. That's what we're looking for. It's exactly what we're looking for. It's perfect. It's thinner at the tip, and it's shaped more like a stake than a knife. This isn't a commercial. Did we suddenly kill vampires? This is just a. Oh, shit! Sharpened edges. Huh. So the killer made it? It seems that way. It's a Ooh. Poor implement, but it could certainly be used for stabbing. It's crude, but effective then. I see. This could be the weapon then. Good job. I think the blood was a nice little tip off there. Just kind of throwing that out there. You got two bits of evidence from that. Okay. So now, how do, what do we combine? So we get uh, the weapon blade and the weapon inconsistency. Yes, if we put these together, it should be easy. There we go. To yeah, that's a clear identification of the weapon. Alma and Abigail. They both died from being stabbed in the chest by a weapon with the same shape. Any ideas? Their wounds Me match the shape of the weapon found inside the clock. Oh, definite weapon. The two okay. of them were killed with the same weapon. This handmade steak. Handmade steak. Now we take the weapon hilt. Probably put it with the weapon itself. With internal bleeding left palm. Or that's there it is. Hmm. There it is. The shape on the end of the oh, that's, hilt. Oh, that's the indent. Uh huh. The bruise on Alma's hand. This bruise could be from Alma pushing her hand against the hilt of the weapon. If that's the case, then the person who used this weapon would Ooh. have to be... Yeah, if she's holding it like that, then that means... Alma used the murder weapon. Alma used the murder weapon. She killed her daughter, cause she's a slut. Yes. <laughs> Sure. Used I'm gonna go with that. Forward, don't don't go with that. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> he said it. It's it's your idea. Only way you own that. Just a random Kimishimi thought going reason. through my head. I even <laughs> said her name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Distraught that I said that. Doctor Sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What does this mean? What does this mean indeed? All right, so we get definite weapon with Alma's weapon. Question mark? Or that is uh, fucking, there it is. Abigail was killed by the stab wound in her chest. The shape of her stab wound perfectly matches the shape of the weapon found in the clock. Hmm. The bruise on Alma's palm indicates that she had been using the weapon. Yup. Abigail was murdered by Alma. It would make sense for Abigail to respond to a phone call. That makes from sense you. too. Oh. There's also Abigail's final words to consider. A lot of killing of daughters in this one. Huh. Why would she say that? Yeah. Why would she say that? She didn't know it was her. Mom dressed up as a monster and killed her daughter. That's right. But why? Was wearing a mask no, that I don't know. Still looking for an M.O. Even are, we, are we ditching the slut the theory? I don't know, she probably didn't. I mean, it's a fact at this yeah, point, she, right? She, uh, she no I red-handed. That's why she called out, to warn her mother away. From the phone call, she would have assumed that her mother, Alma, was somewhere nearby. <sighs> yep. But if Alma is the murderer, how did hmm. she end up killed by the weapon that she had been using? Probably used it on herself, unfortunately. What? The results of our analysis are and... Which analysis was this? The wine glass. Uh, something oh. else was detected in the residue. Well, oh, what yeah? is it? We've detected traces of benzodiazepine in the wine. Oh! Benzodiazepine? Benzos! Isn't that used in sleeping pills and anti-anxiety medication? Hmm. That's right. It seems to have been mixed in with the wine. Hmm. Little guy, was there any benzodiazepine found in Alma's body? No, oh, why? The results of the drug test mm, came up with a negative one. I wonder why. That's all right. I just was she to trying to sure get rid of her whole family? Why would she do that? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out here soon. There's some solid evidence. With some solid evidence. Some drugged wine. Oh, man. Good stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. If we believe that Alma is the one that killed Abigail, then Alma put the sleeping medication into the wine. The one who drank it was... Uh, her husband. husband. Joseph. Yeah, she tried to kill her husband. Yes. I think a much more sinister Joseph. picture is being painted here. Yeah. Are you saying? That's right. I am. Alma tried to kill Joseph as well. To get away with it. Dr. Kimishima, isn't that just... The weapon left a bruise on her palm. That is proof that she used the weapon. That's right, in that way. She was killed by that same weapon. That's Precisely. True. Let's stay calm and think this through. All right. We have evidence. What can we what can we determine from this? Let's see. Joseph and Alma, don't we? That is It would be the blood on on Alma's sleeve. Yep. The blood that wasn't hers. Indeed. The blood stains are quite I think he caught on and fought back when Joseph when he found out that Alma's his own daughter was killed by his wife. Then did Joseph kill Alma during that fight? I'm just saying that this is one conjecture. I think we need to go back to the crime scene. But there's no motive. The family reportedly got along well. Mm. Little guy, where is Mr. Parker right now? Huh? He's still being detained. Yep, Good. let's slip in unnoticed. Tell him we found the weapon Mrs. Parker was using inside the clock. Huh. All right, I'll do that. I'm going back to the murder scene. I want to find Alma's motive. Yeah, let's see. All right, off we go. Let's go! Road trip! Road trip! We're gonna sing so many songs! Oh, we're here. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, can I bother you for a moment? Yo, it's always more What's than a moment, matter? but okay. HQ contacted me just a moment ago. It seems Joseph Parker has a message for you. The victim's mm. husband. Listen here, you bitch! Don't you touch my wine collection! I'll send the recording over to you right now. This message go ahead, sir. Is from whoever is investigating my case. I don't know who you are, but I'm impressed by your skills. <laughs> oh well, gosh, I got what? Above, the above the fireplace. Oh! Let's see. Let's. All right. Let's see what Alma was hiding from us. 
I'm gonna say that she had schizophrenia. I'll have to check above the fireplace. There we go. Here it is. A diary. I should take Labeled it to the diary. Yes, you should. Is that all we came here for, by the way? That that, that was it. Okay. Later. Gotta wait until we get to the office to read this, of course. Don't want to read it at the scene of the crime. That's Dr. weird. Kishima, can you spare a moment? I do Always. It's about the case. Well, of course it is. Uh, all the oh. markers autopsy is about to begin. Hmm. Good. I hope they find something. <laughs> yes. And regarding the results from the auto imaging scan, a tumor yeah. has been found in Alma Parker's prefrontal Ooh. lobe. Brain damage. Ooh. Brain damage. Prefrontal yes. lobe too. Five centimeters in diameter. Ah. It seems to have been causing CVD. Cerebral vascular disorder. If that's so, then yes, she wasn't well, in right mind. Even if she hadn't been killed, she didn't have much time left. That's not the point. Tumors in the prefrontal lobe cause visual <gasps> and auditory uh -oh. hallucinations. Uh -oh. There's the chance that this may explain her strange behavior. She thought she was actually fighting monsters! I found Alma's diary above the Parker's fire. Well, knowing that information, I think we can understand what the diary says a bit more now. He was telling the truth. Reading this may tell us more. Let's crack her open! I write this diary giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. My headaches continue today. Tumors? The bruise seems to have gotten bigger, too. Should I see a doctor? A bruise? What is she hmm. referring to? Oh, uh... On the head? Black bruise on right palm. Oh. Where she used the weapon. That's right. She was still alive when she got that bruise on her hand. I write this diary giving thanks. To the mountains and to the flowing waters. And to Pazuzu. A miracle happened today. I can barely believe it. I heard God's voice, beautiful oh, and pure. Boy. The mm. bruise on my hand is a sigil passed on to me by God. Oh, all right. Your son there is still corrupt. I, I need you to kill him in order to show your what allegiance to me. It Auditory hallucinations. Yeah, it, that's what this was this time. Right. Her experience was like got a ping pong ball in her brain that says it was auditory hallucinations. She the whispers of her disease as the voice of the creator. I write this diary giving thanks. To Sounding the more tired. To the flowing water. Slowly dying. Today I heard a shocking premonition. We were walking the path oh. against God's divine will. God said oh, no. kill. My pain was inflicted on me as a punishment and a warning to me and my family. I cannot let this be. I must save my family. Oh no! A savior! I write this diary. Mm, a no savior! More, no more! No! The no! <laughs> Premeditated <laughs> savior! And lead my the beast family. of the Lord? I will sever them from this world and engrave the sigil upon their bodies too. This is a well-working tumor, it sounds like. Abby, my little girl, I willingly become the beast. I will save you by savior. killing you, the words of a psychopath. The beast of the Lord. That explains the fur. I write this diary. Giving thanks to the Oh God, why is there more? To the flowing waters. I learned a terrible truth today. My little Abby never reached his. <gasps> oh shit! It's my fault. I severed her connection before engraving the sigil. Mm. Oh. Right. Uh. Well, let's workshop this. Uh, my uh Lord, daughter, can I have a do-over? Mulligan? Oh, oh, holy mulligan. Oh, fuck me! Joseph will be saved. No! I will engrave his sigil and lead his soul. Fuck that tumor, man! It won't hurt. It ruined everything! Joseph, let us Cancer's a bitch, man. In his world. The diary ends here. Alma died after writing this. The sigil that she says she engraved onto her daughter is... Probably the spike in the chest. Funny answer, funny answer. Gunshot wound, wound in the left, left leg. leg. 
That uh, was a that stab be... to the chest. Actually, that's the wound on the right palm. That's the sigil. Oh, that was the sigil, that's yeah. That's the sigil. Like, and it not, is not like the killing like a, blow, yeah, yeah. It actually looks like a sigil. black bruise on her hand appeared as a holy sign. Oh, that's why she thought she was Another family destroyed by the Lord, am I right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she also planned to do the same to her husband. When she said she'd make sure it won't hurt, she meant... <sighs> Drug him. Sleeping pills. Kill him in his sleep. This diary answers a number of the questions we've had regarding this case. It's 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 like super evidence. Super solid evidence. We got two things of solid evidence out of that. We're not done yet. Three pits of solid evidence. We're still not done yet. Until this point, What's I thought left? that Alma and Abigail had been killed by the same person. But now it's clear who killed Abigail. And yet, there are several things... Her husband will probably get off at self-defense. I need to review the information we have to determine if these murders were committed by the same person. Hmm. All right, let's have one more office think, and then we're going to solve this thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably a couple things that we can put together. Hey, little guy. I have something else that I need you to analyze for me. You do? I thought we've already been through everything. Almost. Hmm, it's more that I want you to sort through what we know. How on Alma earth is this rated T? It's a hard T, all right. They're pushing However, it, man. Yeah, they are. They don't say herself. fuck. There's no violence, but it's mostly through text. For example. All right, from what we know about the case, the death that Alma could not be behind was, well, her obviously, own. her own. Nope, nope, careful. Oop. Yeah, Alma's. Yes. Alma didn't stab herself, and there were obvious attempts to hide evidence after Alma's death. One such piece of evidence is... Fireplace! Burn of the mask and fur! Yep. Get rid of yes. the beast of the lord. Someone tried to destroy the costume Alma wore in the fireplace. Another piece is... Hiding the murder weapon. Indeed. The weapon Alma is believed to have used was hidden inside the clock. Only one person was able to do this. Yes. Now we can finally All see right. everything that happened in this case. All the evidence is solid, and now it's time to reach this dark conclusion. The case has been solved. Now let's piece it together. The sad, sad case of this entire thing. Yes. The dead shall speak. Let's put together the truth of what happened here. All right, the whole sordid truth. Ah! Uh, In a way, do not like this. Alma Parker is the first victim. Well, don't look, don't look away. This is the truth she of what happened. Tumor I will stare the life. truth down. Yeah, gigantic tumor. That's some. That's the some medical terminology. By the tumor changed her. Personality. This card has the evidence of that. It, oh. What card shows Alma's symptoms? Alma's symptoms. I just, I just had it. Alma's symptoms. Yes. She believed her hallucinations were divine visions. Parting with the world. Her beloved daughter was first. Aww. Mm. It was that same love that led to Alma's attack. This Did you ever kill me if you, you thought that it would save me? Only if the tumor said so. Let me burn in hell. Only if the tumor you, said so. You tell the tumor. Let you, you tell the tumor. Let me burn in hell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one is the details of Abigail's murder. Yep. Indeed. She put on a mask and fur, then killed her. That's why Abigail failed to recognize her own mother. Instead, she kept screaming in order to warn Alma away. And let's hear that scream, Abigail's ladies and gentlemen. Words are proof of that. Ah! Mom, stay away! Run! And then, yeah. After the murder, Alma tried to guide her child's soul. Some of these stories don't even make it to M-rated games. How the hell does it stay in a T? Like this is Ace Attorney shit, honestly. What, what Alma did to guide her daughter's soul to Pay God. Payphone! The two sigils, obviously. Or, yes, stabbing. This is likely what Mrs. Bowen witnessed. That's pretty M-rated! 
I don't know. No faces. That's maybe probably the only reason it stayed T. Like, maybe it's the fact that it's static, the fact that it's not detailed, the fact that it's, you know, not... We're not seeing it happen. Still got a bit of blood going down the arm. I, I think either they hit some things in the ESRB, or they were just... Because it's because it's in a medical the type deal, you know, we're, we're not we're not doing it ourselves. I think the player doing it is a big part of it, too. Hey, ESRB, can you look over there for about 20 hours? Huh? Uh-huh. Huh? Uh, okay. All right, preparation, the wine yeah, piece. Yeah, it would be the wine. Druggy in the wine. Yes, Benzos in the wine. Plan failed to work. That's my favorite uh, song from the 2010s. From the the benzos failed to panic. work. I put my benzos in the wine. Oh my god! Oh, Very short song. Made it to number one for like two weeks. Holy shit! All right. Sigil. Jo Joseph had a blood stain. That proves Although that he fought more back. Than and fur again to kill her husband. You failed to remember. I hate That's wine. Why Joseph didn't know it was Alma attacking him. He desperately caught her hand, resisting her. And in the ensuing struggle, they fell, stabbing Alma. There we go. He when doesn't Joseph have the power to stab a woman. Mask, but, but gravity if does! Lost. If he fell, yeah. <sighs> well, it was first thought here we go again. Had the same <laughs> we start ba gathering everything up. Find a new family, <laughs> yeah. Third time's a control. charm, I suppose. God, that sounds this worse. Is with proof of the reason why that is. Yeah, it'd be the other killer. Careless. Wait, what? What? Oh, oops. Sorry, mass suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong one. There we go. Yes. We'll eventually get After to that one. I, I jumped ahead. That's in the next one. Jumped ahead. Of her guilt. Right, 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 right. No matter how it was done, it couldn't have been Alma. And so, the truth of this card is brought to light. dun dun da Right here! This is the other killer. Yeah! This person wanted to hide Alma's crimes. First, her costume Sean Bowen. was destroyed in the fireplace. Mm. The weapon she used was hidden within a clock in the house. Another knife was I'd used like to throw the clock into the dump, like you know, no one find that. Maybe this it's extremely heavy. To exonerate well, well. Because he's, he's only got sitting power. He can't stand. Then the lie. Joseph knew Alma was not a woman who could commit murder. But I am. I've killed like so many people. Her bizarre acts were a result of her brain tumor. Even then, she still loved her husband and cared about him. Enough to bring him to heaven with her. Her final words are proof of that. Wrong kind of save this on first hearing, you think. How her life's light was put out. Ugh. What an awful, terrible, harrowing story. Got any jokes to lighten anything up? No, fuck you. I, I got a joke. No, you don't. What, 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 what did the Let's Player do when his uh, oh, series man. took a real harrowing oh, turn? He treaded water! I was just thinking about visiting you. All right. I'm trying to I'll be, be there serious. Soon. Here. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just trying to have a good time, play a little little medical drama oh, anime right. game, but... Oh, think, don't tell game. me you didn't know this was coming. This, You're the one who beat it. Are you kidding? This is why I brought it on here. Yeah. The rich, painfully humanity on screen. Love, Let it in. Let it in. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I'm sorry. That may well be have funny if she actually like... Yeah. This case. <laughs> Stop. Turned and shot me. <laughs> We have a third victim in this case. <laughs> Unrelated. Player, I will end this case and we'll start at the beginning. Dude, stop! Don't! Now I know why it smells like burnt hair in here. You gonna eat that? Nice place. Think I'll take it. <sighs> Starts throwing the... <laughs> Can't the photo one, the photo frames is one, <laughs> one for me, one for you. 
Thank you. My Wait. wife. So Benzo's in here, is there? She was the best. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit. She tried to Benzo everything. Even when I was stubborn. Right? She even Benzoed the photos. Where do you get Benzos? Eh, uh, not important. Mr. Parker, it's my duty to uncover the truth. I understand. You loved her. Hey, he yeah, he, he, he loved her. Okay, yeah. You wanted to hide the fact that, that Alma tried to kill you. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Boop. Damn it. At least I don't have to watch Gilmore Girls anymore. Huh? She loved Gilmore Girls. I'd be I off. miss Gilmore yeah. Girls. <laughs> I've got to buy the box set now. <laughs> no way she'd kill me without a cause. She... She must have had some reason for what she did. Well, Joseph, the word of the Lord. Please, yeah, if poor health care. Like this all will be known as a lunatic. You have to find out what truly happened to my wife. Please. I think we got it. Yes, now, I'm now. Good. That's my duty. Being a lunatic ain't so bad. People will sympathize with you. I was like, oh, you loved her That's so much, even though she was crazy me. loony at the end. I'm a little jealous. He <laughs> starts crying harder and she leaves. My work is done. I did it. I'm the hero. Well, I need a stiff drink. Speaking of dying because of something wrong with us. Oh, there you are, Dr. Kimishima. I was looking for you. I see. What do you want? Uh, I uh, have the report from the Oxford autopsy. Oh? Tell me all about it, right now. Ah, uh, right. Please. Um, her brain tumor was kind of... Well, strange. Strange? Guilt? Could you be any more vague? Were you actually present at the autopsy? It was goofy looking. It was... It was... Yes, but... Bleh. It made a it face a at me. condition I've never seen. <gasps> the tissue around the tumor was black. Nobody knows why. Necrosis. Black? Same as with Veronica. Oh! Remove that tumor. I'll have a friend at Resurgum check it. Ooh! And I want the death certificate made by the end of the day. <laughs> you want me to do all that? Yes, no by the end of the day. Do it right now. Right now. Uh, I'm on it. Good boy. You go, girl. Veronica's death. An old woman losing her mind. What in the world? Maybe is they're going connected on? somehow. Hmm. But how? But hmm. why? Hmm. But what purpose for what cause? Hmm. Bigger conspiracy. Bigger huh. conspiracy. Oh, thank God. It'll oh. take a while for us to get to another one. Yeah, I think we got some surgeries in between there. Like, uh, next time, I think we're. Oh! Oh, oh finally! We're back. Finally! Surgery! I never thought we'd get back to surgery here! But oh here we my are! Lord! Oh, uh, we. I think we got. Oh, so many surgeries coming up here! Woo! Oh, doctor! Oh, oh doctor! Doctor! All right, next time on Trauma Team, we're back in the OR, baby. Finally. See you then. Do something happy for once. Hug your children. Call your mom. Play chess with your dad. Pray to the Lord. No, no, no. Love way. your family.